What's up guys, we're back with another epic PSA return video. In today's video, we're gonna be getting back the Beast Skull Dragon that I pulled from the first edition Metal Raiders box. That's it right okay. there. Okay, come on, be loaded last few packs. Gate guarding, gate guarding, gate guarding, come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You gotta dream big, here we go. Stem pack, I believe that this pack will give us, oh, it already started off good. They're always at the front though, so they're off center. Pequeno Moth, Armored Lizard. Yeah, I felt something, maybe it was the Pequeno Moth. Be sure Butcher. Black Skull Dragon. Okay, okay, I almost said this, but in the Portuguese boxes I opened, Black Skull was always with, I couldn't remember if it was Horn of Heaven or Magic Jammer. I guess it was it was Magic Jammer. Oh, sweet. Okay, I already have this card, but this card, at the time of recording this, just sold in PSA 10 for $2,500. So that is definitely not an upsetting pull. Box, that's it right there. We got the Blue Eyes box and Magic Ruler. All have been open on the channel, so check those out if you guys haven't seen them. Well, let's go ahead and do the giveaway. I'll be giving away Barrel Behind the Door, Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress, first edition from Yugi's World, and Athena from Premium Pack. All you gotta do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think the Beast Skull will get. I think it's gonna get PSA 10, but you never know. But before that, we're also gonna open up a Genesis Impact Booster Box. We didn't get to open up all of these on the stream. If you guys weren't there, it was pretty awesome. I had to cut it a little bit short, but it was really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys were there. And if you guys watched it later, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. So let's go ahead and crack this one open. I got a new knife for all you guys who were complaining about my knife. So this one apparently is a little better. So let's see what we can get in this Genesis Impact Box. Collector rares in this set. The Drytron or whatever it's called. I'm just learning about this set pretty much, but it is pretty good because this is the first time, the first time I opened it was on the live stream. And there's an ultra rare worth $40 and we pulled three of them. So we're probably not gonna pull one out of here, but you never know. There's still a couple collector's rares left in this case though. So let's see what we can do. Unless the Drytron was not short printed, which I'm pretty sure it probably was. But I'm really excited about this B-Skull Dragon because I think it has a great chance. Nightmare Phoenix, it's a nice card. And Cyber Emergency is a $1 super rare, I think. So nice pull there. I'm going to set aside this Nightmare Phoenix. Yeah, but the, uh, the B-Skull, I think, should be a 10 in my opinion. I actually do have another B-Skull 10, so maybe that'll give us some luck. Hopefully it won't uh, jinx us. Here we go. Let's see. It's at the back, which is cool. The Alistair, the Invoker of Madness. Nice ultra rare pull. That is a reprint. As someone told me on the live stream, I was like, I'm pretty sure that I've seen this card before, <laughs> like multiple times. Nightmare Griffin. Okay, the Nightmare. The two Nightmares are worth a little bit as rares, which is not bad because there are a lot. There, everything's a rare, so being worth something as rare is like being a com like a common being worth something. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, we got the Glass Goddess. I think other than Cyber Emergency, there's not much in the Super Rare, so we're going to kind of fly through those. And hopefully we can get some good Ultras, maybe a Collector Rare. The Crowley. We got Crowley right there. Is that uh, GX? <laughs> the GX Teacher? Is that who that is? Just kidding. I know it's not him. I know it's not him. I'm just kidding. All right. Here we go. Man, I'm, I'm eagerly the Live Twin. I'm going to set that aside because one of my friends was interested in those. Even though this is super rare. Here we go. Triton. Secret password. Alright. Super rare. Can we pull a collector rare in this box? We should have at least two more in the case. We opened a bunch of boxes of it though. Tris Magistus. The two collector rares we pulled were one of them was the Live Twin and one of them was a... Drytron spell card. I can't remember what the name was exactly, but it was worth about 50 bucks. It was pretty good. Unicorn. Benton. Dryton. Fafnir. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's pull something. Let's pull something good. So far, we've got one ultra rare. Oh! The Meteon Meteonist. What is this? This is the one I pulled in Collector Rare. I think it's worth about 10 or $11 as an ultra, which is still really good. So that's better than a lot of them. A lot of them are not worth that much. So that's pretty good. We pulled that in Collector Rare, but now we have an Ultra. Yeah, the, the really good Dryden, I can't remember what it's called. If we see it, hopefully we will, then I would recognize it because I pulled three of them. But I'm guessing that I'm guessing they short printed a good one and that's why it's so expensive, but I could be wrong. Maybe they didn't short print it. Maybe it's just that good. Phoenix, Live Twin Home. 
All right, let me know what you guys think about Genesis Impact in the comments because I've seen that it's not a very good set in terms of meta play besides besides the, whatchamacallit, Cyber Emergency, that's good. Besides the Drytrons. Outside of that, it's not very good. And obviously, from a collector's standpoint, I can give, definitely give you guys my opinion. I think it's terrible from a collector's standpoint. There's just absolutely nothing that I'm interested in collecting out of this set. There's nothing iconic, nothing old. It's just basically all new stuff. The biggest, like the oldest reprints, like Beat Cop, I think, or something. And that's a link, so it's obviously not very old. So I'm not a huge fan of it, but uh, I do enjoy opening, obviously. So I'm going to open up these boxes and see what we can get. The Fafnir. And obviously, even though I don't really love the cards necessarily, I do love the collector rares. I think they're cool. Even if they're not the cards I'm really hoping would be in here. Secret password. Like, if we had a Cyber Dragon or a Blue Eyes or something like that, you know, I mean, that'd be crazy. Or a uh, Black Rose. There's a Phoenix. Ooh, Artemis the Majestus Moon Maiden. Yeah, I kind of forgot. I was like, why are all these ultras worth so much? You only get three ult you get like three ultras per box in here. I forgot about that. And I think that the ultras are replaced. I think the ultras get replaced by the collector rare in this set. And set unlike Toon Chaos where they didn't, which is kind of weird. Lights went home. Alright. A few more packs, and then we're gonna open up this B Skull Dragon. Hopefully it will be awesome. Hopefully it will be a PSA 10. Also, we are going to have more PSA returns in the future. It's been a while since we've had one, but PSA has been super slow. Even if you send it express, it takes like a month, which is pretty crazy. Nightmare Unicorn. Triton. Yeah, we've only had two Ultras, so hopefully we will get another one or a Collector Rare. Hopefully it'll be the good one. Okay, the Glass. The Glass Goddess. Two more packs. Can we pull something good? Entire booster box of Genesis Impact. Oh, is it in the last pack? Did I miss an Ultra somehow? Please be in the last pack. <laughs> Please be in the last pack. Didn't we pull an Ultra in the first pack? Nightmare Griffin, nice. What? Beat Cop? Wait, did I miss one? Maybe I already pulled it. Maybe I already pulled three. Okay, so from our, we got our three Ultras here. The best one being this card. Think, actually, I'm not sure what this is worth, but it's a reprint, so it's probably rolling worth a couple bucks. But let's hop into what we're really here for, the B-Skull Dragon. Let's cut this thing open, and let's get us a nice PSA 10. The, oh yeah, this knife is this knife, knife is feeling it right here. We got Fort Knox open, finally. We got that insanely difficult <laughs> box to open. That's classic for the uh, PSA boxes. We got it open. Now, the reveal. We have the B-Skull Dragon. Let's check out the back. See if we can see anything here. What is all this? Okay, that's on on the case. Okay, we're good there. We can inspect the card like this. Do we see anything? Those little dots are on the case. I mean, it's just PSA cards just get stuff all over them somehow. I mean, it looks pretty good from here. Let's see if we can uh, not reveal the grade like this. Okay, there we go. Check out the front. The centering is pretty good on it. Card looks pretty clean. Let's reveal the gray, guys. Here we go. Put your guesses in the comments. What did it get? Gem Mint 10. Okay. It got it. I was expecting it, but you never know. Sometimes cards that you think are for sure 10s do not come back 10. So now I have this one, and I also have this one that I got from Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! Probably like a year, a little bit more than a year ago at this point. And back then, they were a lot cheaper. I think I paid between $325 and $350. He hooked me up. At the time, I think that was like pretty retail, but he had three of them at the time, and he, so he actually sold one. And I fortunately bought it because right after that, like a month later, it was worth six hundred, and now it's worth up to twenty five hundred dollars. It's just crazy. So now I have two of them, and I'm not really looking to sell one. I may trade this one that Lewis sold me. Um, he's gonna be sad at me for trading it, but I may trade this one because I did pull this one, so I don't want to sell that one or uh, trade that one. Sorry. So if, maybe if you had some sort of, maybe if you had like a summon skull for PSA 10, I doubt anyone's trading right now, but maybe if you had like a PSA 10 summon skull, that would be really cool actually. Then I could swap and then I'd have that one because I don't have a summon skull PSA 10. So maybe if you have a PSA 10 summon skull, maybe if you have something else cool in the gym mint 10 that you, that I don't have, you might want to send me a DM on Instagram. Let me know something you might want to give me, preferably something older like Metal Raiders or something like that. So that way I could you know, not feel too bad about giving it up. 
But yeah, that's it for this video. That's pretty cool. Now I have double B skull. This looks really nice, actually. I'm a big fan. Big fan. Glad this came back. We're also going to have a huge, an absolutely huge. Is this on the case? Okay. We're going to have an absolutely huge PSA return coming up soon with, if you guys want to see what I submitted, it's on my Instagram page, my last post, or maybe it was two posts ago. I don't remember. But it was a video and has like Gaia first edition. We have submitted the Blue Eyes first edition, Dark Magician Girl first edition. So it's a lot of great stuff. And that should be back like, I'm hoping this week or next week. So it should be a good video. Pretty exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like the video if you did. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh, yes. oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom oh.